Hey everyone, in this short video, let's talk about raw processing and why you should try shooting in raw the next time you go out and photograph. So to start, let's talk about raw image files. And all raw image files are, is they contain all of the information and image data that your sensor saw whenever it took the photograph. So whenever you're taking a photograph, like this photo for example, I shot this photo completely raw. That means when I took this photograph, this photo file that I'm playing with here contains all of that image information and data so that when I go into my develop tab here, I can modify these adjustments and really play with the raw image tonality of the shot. And a raw file is a lot different than a compressed image file such as a JPEG. With a JPEG image file, a lot of that information from that raw file is lost when it's processed into that compressed image file. So to maintain all of that raw data, that's why we have a raw processor, such as On1 Photo Raw. On1 Photo Raw allows us to take those raw image files so that we can process them, modify them non-destructively, and export them as different image file types. And the reason raw processing is important is because not a lot of computer applications and software deal with raw file types. That's where On1 Photo Raw comes in really handy. In On1 Photo Raw, we're going to be non-destructively editing these photographs so that we can export them into different file types, such as a JPEG, for example. So inside Photo Raw here, the great thing about shooting in RAW is that you can actually go into your tone and color pane, and I can change my camera profile by just going into this menu, and watch as I hover down here. I can really change the look of my image just by choosing a different camera profile. And this will set me up for success whenever I'm editing, because I already have a nice base look for my images. Let's go with this nice on one landscape. And we can always go back in and add in a little bit more brightness to this shot. Another reason that I like shooting in RAW is that it gives me all of the RAW data so that I can go in my tone and color pane and I can pull out the deepest, darkest shadow tones and I can tone down the brightest highlights. So in here, I'm just gonna pull up on my shadow tones a little bit and that'll reveal a little bit more of that image. Let's also go down in here and let's warm this photo up just a little bit. So as you can see, inside this tone and color pane, all I've really done to this photo is I've chosen a different camera profile, I've boosted the shadows, and I've added a little bit of temperature. And if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we're already on the right track to really stylizing this shot. Another great thing about shooting in RAW is that your local adjustments can go in and really modify specific areas on your photo by harnessing that raw image data. So let's go into our local adjustments tab here. And I'm gonna choose this preset style, recover shadows. And I'm just gonna brush this on in here, inside this well area, and you can see how well it pulls up on the shadow tones. So you can see that in here when I'm brushing it on, it really helps to reveal those darker areas. And obviously that's really intense. But the great thing about Photo Raw is that in any of these adjustments or filters, I can go over and I can lower the opacity a little bit. And I can make it seem more natural by modifying the adjustments. And the last thing I really enjoy about shooting in Raw is it gives me the ability to zoom in and not lose too much detail and quality. Because I'm shooting in RAW, it's going to be a larger file because it's having all of that information and data stored into it. Well, that just means I can go in, I can crop a little bit more, I can zoom in a little bit more, and I'm still going to maintain that nice, sharp, detailed quality of my original photo. So let's crop this photo a little bit so I can show you the power of RAW images. I'm just gonna hit C on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold down Shift, and I'll just pull this in real quick. And let's just hit enter to crop. And there we go. We've cropped our photo. We still have all of this nice detail in here. And one last thing I'd probably do to this photo is I'm gonna add a new local adjustment layer. Let's set this to darken and watch how easily I can modify the raw data in the top of this image just by using a local adjustment layer. If 
voila, really toned down the top part of that photo, brought back some of that color and detail in the sky, and really accentuated this subject right here. So you can see with this photograph, I didn't really do a whole lot to this image, and I've already brought out a lot of the nice tones in it. So if you have a photograph that's raw, you can harness that raw image data and really go in and modify this photo to your liking. So that's a quick way to understand raw processing and why you should try shooting in raw the next time you photograph. Thanks for watching. I'm Dylan with On1 and stay tuned for more.